Why don't we use fluids more often in cardiac arrest? Well, let me show you. Intravenous fluid can help improve the likelihood of arrest, but it's totally dependent on the cause of the arrest. For example, if the patient who arrests due to hypovolemia, intravenous fluids will improve preload and cardiac output, which will likely benefit the patient. Even the use of hypertonic saline may be useful in limiting cerebral edema that occurs in arrest. However, going back to what I said about in the beginning, it's all dependent on the cause. If they arrest because of an electrolyte abnormality, well, then the best course of action is to correct the problem. Another thing to take in consideration is that fluids like normal saline, in this case Ringer's, is cold and can cause further acidosis if it's normal saline. In a patient that has been in arrest for a prolonged time, these things could precipitate to the problem and have negative effects. So can you use fluids in an arrest? Yes, but we need to be selective on when we use them and don't ignore what can really improve return of spontaneous circulation, which is finding the cause and treating it.